Welcome to the Janolan Dyson Sphere. The situation in the Delta Quadrant is continuing to develop. We will need the assistance of all our allies to stay ahead of it. Admiral Tuvok has requested that you meet Voyager in the Solaran system. I believe he requires your assistance with a personal issue. While you're there, you should be able to get a briefing on the current state of the Delta Quadrant. Tuvok is waiting for you in the conference room. Sorry we don't have time for a tour, but the Admiral insists he needs to speak with you right away. so promptly. We do not have much time, and I require your assistance. I am still under telepathic assault by the Undine we know as Cooper. He has found some means to greatly increase his psionic power, and I cannot withstand his assault indefinitely. I will need your help to repel Cooper's attack and counter him. What else do you need to know? I have been able to deflect Cooper's attacks thus far but I require assistance to repel him and gain any useful information. I propose initiating a Vulcan mind meld through which you will be able to enter my mind and aid me against Cooper. What else do you need to know? Your prior experiences with Cooper should allow your subconscious mind to hone in on him. An outsider who has never encountered him before would have no such connection and could never hope to find him. What else do you need to know? My mind to your mind. Your thoughts to my thoughts.
Please state the nature of the medical emergency. Please state the nature of the medical emergency. Mm -mm -mm. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, shall we? First, I need to make sure you're not contagious or suffering from any injuries. This will only take a moment. Don't be difficult. I'm only doing my job. Engineers and captains, always in a hurry to get out of sickbay. You're not going anywhere. Doctor's orders. have symbolic significance in this mindscape. As an outsider in my mind, your ability to communicate with me directly is limited. Your communicator is part of your mind, and so it cannot interact with me directly while Cooper tries to keep us separated. The pad is part of my mind, so I can use it to bridge the gap between us. The mind meld was successful. No. Good. Now we will be able to remain in contact. Proceed to engineering. Cooper is attempting to subvert my mental defenses by replacing my memories with engrams from his bioship. Until he is expelled, these kinds of incursions will continue. You may see strange items or distortions in your surroundings. Ignore them and proceed as best you can. Remember Kiri Kintha's first law of metaphysics. Nothing unreal exists. Cooper is trying to overload the warp core. You must keep it stable. The mindscape is a simulacrum. Cooper may move elements to suit his needs or try to stop you. Certain areas may be blocked or damaged or even transformed. Do your best to reach your destination. Cooper cannot simultaneously attack an area and conceal it. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? This area is very dangerous. The core is unstable. Bilana, I don't know. She should be here, but as far as I can tell, everything on Voyager is about to fall apart, and I'm the only one here. Stay back. I'm going to put a force field around the core while I try to stabilize it. It won't contain a core breach, but it might block some of the radiation if the magnetic stabilizers give out. I've almost got this. Just keep back. It will only take a few more minutes. You are stupid, aren't you? Only people the Vulcan melded with should be here. Not everyone on Voyager is part of Tuvok's warped little subconscious. Some of us are far more exceptional. I'll destroy them. And Tuvok's mind with you. Get out! He raised defenses to protect himself. Use one of the engineering consoles to press your attack. I'm in raised control. the defenses to protect himself. Use one of the engineering consoles to press your attack. Excellent. With 
My mental defense is stabilized. We should have additional time to fend off Cooper's intrusion. Head to the crew decks. Inside of my memories exist fragments of personalities from any person with whom I have previously experienced a mind meld. You may be able to find someone whose personality is not wholly part of my mind, and thus not susceptible to Cooper's influence. to your right. You may be able to find a fragment of a personality who can help. People with whom I have previously melted have left impressions of their katras in my mind. You may be able to convince one to assist you. Because they are not technically me, Cooper's ability to subvert them may be limited. What am I doing here? Who are you? I require specifics. Answer me. I have no reason to trust you, but this seems familiar somehow. Why am I in the crew quarters? I should be in my regeneration alcove. Seven, you are currently experiencing an engrammatic regress as a result of a Vulcan mind meld. You must assist me in reasserting control over the meld. I am currently locked in the ready room next to the bridge. Exercise caution as species 8472 has subverted the vessel. With Cooper defeated, he should no longer be able to maintain the telepathic link with my mind, for the time being. We must end the mind meld and consider our next course of action. Now that we have removed Cooper's influence, it is time to break the link between he and myself. With Cooper's attack temporarily halted, we are in a position to slow the advance of his undine forces Please accompany me to the bridge.
We still do not have a fix on Cooper's whereabouts. I will contact Starfleet for any current information about Undine movements. Use the sensors to check for their quantum signatures. Voyager's sensor array is currently calibrated for tracking Undine movements, so you should be able to garner results quickly. should return to your ship. While I am somewhat fatigued as a result of the mine melt, I believe that I can continue in my duties on Voyager while we plan our next steps. We must still be in the meld. Cooper is trying to deceive us. He needs to break the link cleanly, but lacks the strength to confront us directly. You don't belong here. We should use the link to our advantage. If we can track Cooper through the link, we can then pursue him in the physical realm. Since the Mindscape deals in symbolic representations, we need a map to his location. We should proceed to Astrometrics. Cooper is trying to block your progress. Look for another path. In 2375, Voyager encountered a malfunctioning board vinculum that had been turned into a trap by species 6339. This vinculum caused other personalities from the collective to surface in Seven of Nine. I entered a mind meld with her in an attempt to stabilize her personality. These people are echoes of the personalities of people assimilated by the Borg. They are not truly aware, knowing only that they desire to escape. It may be helpful to think of them as ghosts, metaphorically speaking, of course. Cooper is attempting to distort your path again. Keep searching. Since we are making progress, keep searching.
There. We have him. Cooper has broken the link. The melt can end. This ordeal has taxed me mentally, but I must continue the mission. I have learned that Cooper is in fluidic space, in an area that corresponds to the location known in our dimension as the Northwest Passage. We must travel there and enter fluidic space to confront Cooper once more. He is aboard a special command bioship that he cannot abandon. If we catch him in fluidic space, we can force a final confrontation. Please join me on the bridge. I must focus my concentration on regaining my strength. I need you to enter our destination coordinates and make certain that there are no more surprises. The Admiral is waiting for you in the ready room. Voyager will join you in the Northwest Passage. We'll leave as soon as you've returned to your ship. We need to hurry if we want to catch Cooper. This area of space was labeled by Commander Chakotay as the Northwest Passage. It is a corridor of space that the Borg avoid because of the high incidence of quantum singularities, which the Undine use as points of transit. Voyager encountered the passage in 2373, and Captain Janeway chose to use it to travel through Borg space. This precipitated our first contact with species 8472. We must locate a quantum singularity that will lead us into the correct area of fluidic space. My suspicion is that Cooper is using this region as a staging ground for the massed Undine fleet. And his command bioship will be there as well. Approach each singularity and check its quantum wave signature. When we find the correct one, we will pass through.
Siege Cooper's command bioship. According to my scans, he is using a modified dreadnought as a control vessel. Intriguing. Cooper's bioship appears to have nerve clusters, gyri, and structures typically associated with brain matter. While most bioships are organic, they are not aware. Rather, they are biological tissue operated by the Undine as tools. Cooper's vessel is different. It is possible that the ship is self-aware. This would explain the increase in Cooper's telepathic abilities. Not only is his command bioship able to coordinate the entire Undine fleet, acting as a brain for the other ships, but it also amplifies his psionic power. We must gain access to the ship directly. We will need to temporarily disable its shielding mantle, so we can fire upon vulnerable sections to disable it. You've come a long way, but as you can see, I am not unprepared for your arrival. <laughs> This command bioship is unique. It is capable of coordinating an entire fleet of bioships. A fleet that will launch from the structure you see here. Even if you attack me, I suspect you will find the sheer power of my new fleet to be overwhelming.
are close to Cooper's position, but the bioship is blocking transport in the area closest to the central nexus. We must find control nodes that will allow us to enter the nexus. As the ship is organic, we may be able to force it open by sending impulses through certain nerve endings, thereby causing a reflex reaction, much like a sneeze. controlling this passage will not release. We will need to find control ganglia we can use to trigger a reflex response and open the door. should be in the chamber just beyond this door. An intriguing notion. I shall make the attempt. You must protect me from Cooper and his soldiers while I concentrate on the mind melt. When you are ready, we shall proceed. Existing now. I must move to another neural cluster. The ship is resisting the meld. I must move to another neural cluster. We must protect me from undine attacks while I'm coming.
did this! My mind to your mind. Your thoughts to my thoughts. Why should we listen to the weak? You will perish when the Iconians complete their purge. To the Iconians, you are weak. We must survive. When we fight one another, we are weak. United, we are strong. No! Don't listen to him! We must see to our needs. The needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. Bio-Dreadnought has no intention of entering our space. Now we must return to our ships before the Undine retreat to their own fortresses in fluidic space. No signs of Undine pursuit. Whatever the intent of the remaining Undine forces, it seems that they do not involve our dimension. As a Vulcan, I am not given to personal displays. Nonetheless, we have shared a deep connection. We will always carry a part of this experience with us. In a sense, you have become a portion of my mental defenses. Part of the ship and crew that define the most challenging aspects of my existence. Our shared effort has prevented another Undine invasion, and incidentally allowed me to retain my sanity. Your contributions are appreciated. I must advise Starfleet Command of these developments. I am sure we will speak again. Until then, I am confident that events in the Delta Quadrant are in capable hands. Live long. With Cooper gone, the Undine won't have a leader pushing them toward war with our forces. I wonder why he was so set on this conflict. We still don't know exactly how long Cooper had been replaced by an Undine, or if the original Cooper is still alive. Perhaps this Undine saw something during his time among us that convinced him that the only way to secure the safety of his people was to destroy ours. It wouldn't be the first time that's happened. Remember the Zindi attack on Earth in the 22nd century? They were told by the Sphere Builders that they had to destroy Earth to save themselves. It turned out that Sphere Builders were using the Zindi as a tool in their own destructive plans. We know the Iconians have manipulated the Undine. Maybe they were the ones pushing Cooper to attack. Our first task in the Delta Quadrant is a familiar one, helping a species to find a new home. A group of Talaxians living in the Entaba system are ready to move to a new homeworld nearby. Admiral Tuvok and Voyager have gone ahead to their main asteroid base to begin the preparations for the transition. The Admirals requested your presence as well. You two work well together. I recommend you take advantage of his expertise. There's no one who knows more about the Delta Quadrant than he does.
attack by the Kazon. Engines are offline. assistance. We were en route to the Talaxian base when we were ambushed by the Kazon. The damage is relatively minor, but my crew will require time to make repairs. However, I have a personal request. The leader of the Talaxian colony served with me on Voyager. Would you be willing to take me there? This base is populated by Talaxians. My shipmate from Voyager, Neelix, joined them before they moved to this location. The Talaxians have been looking for a new homeworld for quite some time, but now they have found one. The Alliance's history with the relocation of the Romulans will be invaluable in this process. Starfleet! Oh, what a thrill! It's so wonderful to see someone from the Federation again. It's been so long, and I keep in touch with my friends, but subspace isn't the same, and I... As you listen to me, I'm rambling on. My name is Neelix, and I serve as Starfleet's ambassador to the Delta Quadrant. Before that, I spent seven years on the USS Voyager with Captain Captain Janeway. Admiral Janeway? Of course! She certainly earned that promotion. My link to the Alpha Quadrant wasn't as strong as I wanted it to be, until the Genolan Dyson Sphere opened a path straight to the Delta Quadrant. Now we get all sorts of news, but yours is the first ship to visit. I, uh, I may make a trip to Earth myself sometime, sample the cuisine, but that will have to wait until after the colonization. I barely have a minute to myself anymore. There's just so much to do. Oh, you've come to help? How wonderful! I, but of course, Starfleet's always pitching in to help out, aren't they? Why, in all my years as ambassador to the Delta Quadrant, I've done everything I could to uphold the good name of the Federation. I don't always have the resources to do more than diplomatic visits, but we try to help out anyone we can, whenever we can. There are Alcompton ships out there right now. Did you know that? My people are helping them explore the stars. Ow, oh, where are my manners? You must be tired and thirsty after your long journey. Come to the colony. We'll fix you right up. But, but, but if I could impose on you just for a small favor first. The keys on this room have been giving us a lot of trouble lately. We've constructed some shield generators to protect the base, but the case on keep knocking them offline and all my shuttles are prepping for the colonization. Could you reactivate the shields for us? Wonderful! Just fly to the generators and start the relaunch sequence. It will take them a few minutes to get up to full strength, but that shouldn't be a problem. After that, beam down to the colony. I'll start making some nicely old root 
costume for you. to meet you in person. View screens are so impersonal, don't you think? May I shake your hand? I if memory serves, that's how. Mr. Vulcan? Is that you, Tuvok? Indeed. It is agreeable to see you again, Felix. What a wonderful surprise. C come, my friends, we have so much to discuss. You look well, Felix. As do you, family, children. Being here has changed me for the better. Indeed. This colony is an improvement on your previous home. Twice as large and completely updated. You should see the kitchen. But you still seek a new homeworld? Of course, children need sun and open skies. A place to put down roots. What was that? The operations bay? Dexter was in there! Dexter's trapped! Please, do something! is a little dizzy, but she'll be fine. I, I have to stay with her, though. I'm afraid I must impose on your kindness again. Several of our systems were damaged in the attack, and I can't help fix them just now. Several of our systems are malfunctioning. Our communications, environmental controls, engineering, and the controls for the crane loading our ships all have been damaged.
Thank you so much. Everything seems to be working properly now, and Dex is feeling much better. I need to take one final lap around the base and speak to a few people before we depart. Would you care to accompany me? Loading this ship. Menex was supposed to help me, but now I can't find him, and I can't reach him on internal comms. I know he hasn't left the station yet, though. Could you look around and tell him that his shift has started? The lack of discipline among the Talaxians is alarming. Greetings, friend. Uh, what can I do for you? Really? I was scheduled to work now, but I traded shifts with Oxel so I could meet a friend who's returning from a long trading mission. Find Oxel. He should be able to help you. I've known Menix for many years now. If he says he traded shifts, I believe him. Uh, I don't believe we've met yet. I'm Oxel, and you must be one of Neelix's visitors from the Alpha Quadrant. It's a pleasure to meet you. Th that's right, but then I beat Drexa in a game of Kat is Kat, and she agreed to work the shift for me. You should find her. Betting work shifts on a game of Kat is Kat is extremely unprofessional. Hi there. I'm Drexa. I heard you helped save Dexa's life. Those Kazon are always bothering us. I wish they'd just find someplace else to go. Is there something I can do for you? Oh, yes, that's right. I worked his shift, though. Check the duty roster. It should all be there. Drexa never worries about the details, but she's one of the nicest people I know. It's you again. Did you find what you needed? Really? Um, but I worked the shift that was in the duty roster. Uh, did you find Drexa? What a goof! I told her I traded shifts with Menex. Hey there! I talked to Oxel, and he told me what happened. Did you find Drexa? Oh, that explains it. I showed up for the shift a bit late, but Kallax said she already had enough workers and I could go back to my quarters. Normally, I would be happy to work, but my friend will be back any time now. That's why I traded shifts in the first place. Did you find Menex? Sounds like quite a series of miscommunications, but I still need help here. What do you think I should do about it? take to the colony. But the Kazon attack has damaged our astrometric system. All it will tell me is how far off I am from our target position. I feel like I'm taking shots in the dark. Would you be willing to help me? 
by adjusting the sensor array's pitch, up and down, and yaw, left and right, you can point the array at the target. By adjusting the force, you can change the distance the array examines. Uh, be sure not to overshoot the target location. The array will be useless if that happens. I can't thank you enough for your help. Dex is going to be fine. The doctor says she'll be up and around in no time. I need to return to Voyager. Please escort the Talaxian fleet to New Talix. We can return to Voyager at your earliest convenience. The Talaxians have much to do.
site is claimed by the Malon. Go find your own dump site. Why? I was here first. Besides, there's a neutron star near here that makes this the perfect location for our... Unknown vessel. Why? I was here first. Besides, there's a neutron star near here that makes this the perfect location for our needs. Finding another would be too expensive. Tell the Talaxians to find another planet.
at least spare my life. The Melon are gone, but the radiation is still around. Oh, what can we do? This would have been a perfect homeworld. But we can't live here if the radiation is going to affect the entire planet. were causing problems? Hmm, I'll make a note of that. Hopefully they'll just be a minor inconvenience. Admiral Janeway wasn't very impressed by them. Neelix has sent word that the migration of the Talaxians is going smoothly. We've sent several ships to ensure they're protected from any more Malon incursions. Our first venture into the Delta Quadrant appears to be a success.